Let's start this video with a fabulous view of the sky yesterday. I don't know that there's anything better than the sky on some open land. Today I worked on our website and uh, petted a couple cats. Then I started to lay out the spot for the wildflowers in the front yard. And you'll see a little bit of progress on this, but eventually I made some changes, which you'll also see. There's what the front of the house looks like right now. And I had mowed the grass down really as slow as I could in this area because I'm going to cover it with crocus will go there and I'm going to cover that area with dirt and then plant the wildflowers. I went out to the field to check on Eric. I had mowed a bunch of this. I don't know if you can see the difference. And here's the pumpkin plants that I hope to get in the ground tomorrow. I started to set up a, an area to start seedlings for fall or for next spring. There's the moon and some gnomes that I found in one of the planters here on the property. Oh, now it's the next day. And this is the day that I'm checking on Eric, who is mowing out there. I had done a bunch of mowing. So most of this is my work, uh, making a spot for the dahlias and the pumpkins. That's a little pergola that's gonna be put up tomorrow. And you can see the fire pit directly in the middle of the acre that we're going to turn into the flower farm. So that's 100 feet and 100 feet from both sides. And so it's right in the center. And the beds for the flowers will emanate from that circle. And here's a 360 degree look at the farm of where that pile is out there. That's about 100 feet from the fire pit. So that's about how big it'll be. We have plenty of room for all the flowers. Uh, we did do some research today and found out that High tunnels are not that expensive and you can get funding through um, Bootstrap Farmer. The dog was riveted. Then I went back and I measured this section here. It's very large. It's 36, 32 feet by... You can see it takes up half my yard, 16 feet, 16 and a half feet. And I was super excited about it and prepared to make that work, but I changed my mind later. Here's Jill putting the sticker on the yard cart. There we go. So cute. So now there's stickers on both sides and the mower will have a sticker tomorrow. This I think was where, oh, I'm showing the connector that these came with. These are neat little uh, edging. They connect with this thing and these big stakes, or big nails, plastic nails. 
So I was just giving an update as it came along. I went and put the nails in to hold the shape. And right about now I'm thinking, this is really big. And why do I need it to be 16 feet across? And you can see I changed my mind. So here I've made it quite a bit smaller, at least half. And I've started to put down cardboard. And I missed the sunset, but that's a pretty nice view there. There's the moon tonight. We walked out in the field to take a look at what's going on. And that was our view.